I screwed up a good day and I feel bad about it. It was awful. Do I have what it takes? Am I enough? How will this be received? Is this gonna matter? Yeah. All those things that people don't want to admit they feel, we all feel them. Part of faith is letting go of yesterdays. Today is a conversation about starting your dream, overcoming the mindset, overcoming the struggles with it. But also, listen, even if for those of you who are like, I'm not starting a dream, Brandon, you know someone who needs support. You know someone who is starting their dream. And it's always about, okay, how can we not only chase our own, but how can we support others? So in that spirit of supporting others, I've got Jamie Kern Lima on with us for Growth Day Morning Show. Hey, Jamie. Woo! Good morning. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, everyone. Happy growth day. <laughs> Let's put some encouragement and mm -hmm. fire in this group today. First, for all those joining us for the first time in growth day, thank you very much. Today, we have a big day in growth day. We are doing a live onboarding call for all mm -hmm. our new community members. So if you haven't joined us officially in growth day, go to growthday.com. It's a huge, huge day for us. But uh, here on the morning show, Jamie and I thought we since I'm actually like launching an onboarding growth day today, we'd st talk about starting your dream. Jamie, you started yours from like your kitchen table and your <laughs> living room and the floor of your house. Like, yes. tell these folks a little about starting, you know, a billion dollar company in your house on the floor. And maybe what's the mindset to go when you have all the doubt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the first and most important thing is doubt's so normal, right? Uh, doubt, imposter syndrome, thinking, oh, do I have what it takes, right? So anyone out there feeling that right now, it's, it's universal. And Brendan, I don't know if you've had this experience, but the more people that I've looked up to for decades, the most, some of the most incredible people in the world I've had the blessing of meeting now, they all have this, they all say the same thing. They even still now, when they launch a new thing or a new network or a new, uh, anything, Look. right? Look. Book, <laughs> they all actually deal with the same thing of, do I have what it takes? Am I enough? How will this be received? Is this going to matter? Uh, uh, do I belong? <laughs> I mean, yeah. all those things that people don't want to admit they feel, we all feel them. Even people that it just blows me away and makes me feel less alone when I hear them share those things, which is why I love that we're you know, all coming together in community for Growth Day Morning Show, Monday yeah, through Friday. Yeah, I see people, Jamie, right now who are already on, on Facebook and on, on our Instagram comments here, I'm already seeing people saying, I started my dream on my kitchen table. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying yeah. to do it. I have doubt, you know, and by the way, everyone's saying good morning. So thank you good guys. Morning. Good morning to you too. We hope you have a wonderful, encouraging, inspiring, passionate, fun day that you feel is like, meaningful and purposeful. And if it doesn't feel like that, try to make it feel like that. No matter what you're doing, if you're doing the laundry today, or you're doing the accounting today, or you're doing the launching today, or you're just trying to take care of your team through remote work today, bring some joy to it, bring some meaning to it, because you got to start today. That's mm. a blessing. You got that first breath today. You got another chance on this earth. You gotta, you know, I screwed up yesterday, Jamie, I said something stupid to Denise. Uh, Y'all who don't know Denise, that's my wife. And it, it's like, I just screwed up. I screwed up. Is that up. why you got a love note? I saw you posted a love note. On. No, that's the worst thing. She posted me this beautiful, encouraging post-it. Yeah. And, and throughout the day, because it's a really hard week for us over here, which we're launching a lot of things. And then, then I just, I screwed it all up. I don't know if you ever, have you all ever just screwed up a good day? I screwed up a good day and I feel bad about it. It was awful. And then like today, it's like, okay, it's a new day. I get to be a better husband today. I get to put better energy out there. I get to like deal with my stress in a better way that doesn't like put on other people. And so mm. we all have the ability to start each day fresh. Mm. Even mm. for those of you who were hurt yesterday, you screwed up yesterday. I do that all the time. That's like half my days. <laughs> but you wake up and you go, okay, do better today, Brendan. Do better today. That's what we mean when we say every day is a good day to grow. You get to start over, you get to see things fresh, you get to be more focused, you get to give more energy. And, and, and that's a big part of you know starting new things. Because you know, you're gonna have a terrible day when you start your business. You gotta get up the next day and go. Yeah. You know, the team's not gonna be awesome one day, next day, give them the credit and go. And 
you know, that's that's so important. I know you felt that when you started too, Jamie. Yeah, and I don't know what you did yesterday to mess up, but what I do know is the the note you posted, which was so beautiful, it inspired me. It actually reminded me, oh, like my my husband Paulo has been so supportive in this book launch journey. I haven't done 100 hour weeks in years and I'm all of a sudden back to 100 hour weeks with like the all the stuff, right? All the stuff. As you know, in the middle of launch, right? You're right in there right now too. And he has been so supportive. And when I saw you post that note yesterday, it actually reminded me, oh, I need to also remember and do a better job at just showing appreciation and just even writing a post-it note. You know what I mean? So I don't know what you did. If you didn't see it, Denise left me this beautiful note on my door and just said she loved me and appreciated me and, and, and knows we're doing big things. And uh, it's just, you know what, when it's a really busy and difficult time, uh, you know, showing support, she's so good at that. I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'm not as good. So she's just awesome. She's too, I said, she's too wonderful. Cause I don't deserve a girl that girl. Good. So very, very lucky guy. And, um, you know, I think Denise and I very much like you and Paula, we, we literally started from scratch, like mm. super build a dream things. She started um, exercise studios and built them up to just powerhouses. I started, um, you know, teaching on the internets <laughs> and, you know, none of it. We didn't know how to do any of it. Yeah, We just didn't know how. And that's the thing. Some of you are stopping because you don't know how. I'm like, just get in the game. You figure it out yeah. in motion. So. Yes. And you know, there's um, uh, this whole idea of how you never feel ready. You know what I mean? And and I remember when, you know, I was like, oh, is now the right time to start a family? And everyone kept saying, oh, you'll never feel like it's the right time. Right. Like, like meaning there's <laughs> right. too busy or this or that. And uh, and then I would say the same thing often when we're launching a dream or, 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 or going after a dream. It's so easy to talk ourselves out of it and go, oh, well, I'm not ready yet. Or, oh, I need to learn more this, that. Or I kind of feel like there's never you never get to that place where you're ever in life, really, <laughs> where you're like, oh, I know it all now. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's just so I think if anyone's making that excuse in their own head, like, just go for it, because. We're all showing up messily, even at my theory, just because I've now had the blessing of seeing behind the scenes of so many businesses and mentoring so many other women and so many other, you know, amazing entrepreneurs out there. Nobody's ready. <laughs> like everyone's. No one's ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, you know what? The, the, the best sign of immaturity is to not expect uncertainty. Mm -hmm. The best sign of immaturity is to not expect uncertainty. It's like we think, oh, one day that goes away and I get it and I know how to do things and everything's perfect. And it's like, no, maturity says, I know there's so much I don't know. I have humility to the fact I don't know how to do most things. I have humility to the fact I don't know how today's going to go because someone else is in charge. Thank you, God. And so that humility is part of maturity. The, 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 the added thing of maturity equals humility plus the trust to go on anyway. Mm. Like yeah. that's, that's the trust to go on anyway and be responsible for one's own actions and responsibilities and reactions. That's maturity, right? Maturity says, I'm humble. I don't think I'm everything like you think when you're 20 years old or 19 or when ego or narcissism takes over, you have humility. And then you also have the trust to go on. That's maturity. Like the trust, resilience is a big part of maturity. And then, yeah owning one's own reactions, owning one's own thing. Like I said, I screwed up last night. Denise didn't. I did. I own that. Like that is part of a great being hopefully a mature husband. It's like just going, oh, I own my reactions. My reactions were not good. Got I don't know it. what you did. I just hope my husband Paula's watching because you're actually owning it. <laughs> I don't know what you did. <laughs> but I'm hoping Paula's watching you own it and be like, it's on me. I did it. I'm hoping you're setting an example right now. Okay, so I keep going. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's another thing too. It's like the, the one reason people don't do that is because you you have to be able to forgive yourself. Mm. You know, it's like I used to be. I don't know if you all do this with your spouses and your partners. I used to, if I messed up anything, I did it with my team forever. If I made a mistake with my team, or or I did a bad job at work, or you know something crashed on the internet when I was teaching, or I didn't reply perfectly to a customer and they came back and I felt I would I would like. Uh, what's that word? Ruminate on that. I would stew on that for like a day or two and it would really upset me because I couldn't forgive myself. 
Mm. And I was like, oh man, I need to learn to forgive myself as much as I forgive other people. I need to mm. learn to forgive myself as much as I trust in God, as much as I trust, you know, part of faith is letting go of yesterdays, right? Part of faith is letting go of yesterdays. And so mm. I just got to let go of yesterday, show up and do a better job today and, and earn some more post-it notes of love. <laughs> So, uh, well, I think, you know, on this whole journey of, 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 you know, everyone starting their dream, I think those are big, big things because mindset, how we handle ourselves messing up, how we handle mistakes. Um, you know, I have people close in my life that were have a very hard time saying I'm sorry or, 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 or I made a mistake or because and when they do start to do the work and start to do the work in therapy and all that, they realize, oh, I when I was little and I would mess up you know, if they made a mistake, they were taught that they were the mistake. They were taught they were bad, yeah. not that what they yeah. did was bad, right? And so we're all on this journey of, of figuring all that out. And, you know, one thought, Brendan, I, I want to share also on, on the whole idea of starting your dream. Uh, I think another thing that uh, can get in our own way or hold us back is just this idea of like, like, are like, do we have what it takes? Are we enough? Do we belong? And one thought that keeps popping in my head, and then one story to share, because I looked, I looked at this journey. I sort of just came out of right. I started at cosmetics in my living room. Couldn't afford to hire anyone for years, so I was trying to do every job. Like, raise your hand if you're doing it all right yeah, now. Yeah, raise people. your hand. Like, if you're just like you're 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 doing it, you're 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 the ultimate do it yourselfer. That's yeah. what happens when you start something new. You're you're the do it yourselfer. So anyway, yeah. I'll well, and you know what? There's no shame in that game. Listen, that that's mm -hmm. how you, you got to do what you got to do. And you know, um, Paulo, me. Eventually, we hired one of my my closest friends of over 20 years. Uh, uh, she was in my wedding, a bridesmaid, and she was six months pregnant at the time. We eventually, she was our first full-time employee. Uh, but all of us, we were doing everything we didn't know how to do because we couldn't afford to hire anyone. And it was like Googling. I mean, this is, this sounds crazy. Now that I know more, this sounds crazy, but Googling, you know, FDA regulatory compliance and writing packaging and all the things that Google. you just thank you Google out. thank you Google um <laughs> and you know one thing I want to share actually with everyone it's a I, I believe this famous quote is by Dr. Seuss I believe um but if anyone out there is feeling like they're a little odd <laughs> or <laughs> they're they're trying to hide the parts of them that are weird or that might not be accepted in the industry they're in or they might be tempted to conform maybe someone's starting a coaching business and they're like oh well maybe i need to kind of conform a little bit to get more clients or are people going to love me for me all those thoughts we have no matter what dream you're starting and there's that dr seuss quote that says you have to be odd to be number 1 and when I think back about that, I want to share a quick story in case someone needs to hear this today that they have to be odd to be number one. And you uh, know what? Hold on one second, Jamie, because yeah, that's yeah. so good. Y'all, yeah. here's what I want you to do. If you're getting any value from these morning shows right now, tag up a friend. Tag mm -hmm. a friend right now who you know is starting this dream or you know who needs a little personal growth and encouragement or you know how to fight with their spouse last night and they're trying to repair or you know someone who needs some relationship advice. So if you tag them right now, then what happens is they'll see this replay. And so if you get them in, mm -hmm. that will help them see the replay. So if we covered something that would be helpful, but also someone take someone you know who is chasing their dream, who, who, who's mm -hmm. starting something, invite them in here today because this, if you don't know Jamie's story, she literally started from scratch, built the billion dollar company called It Cosmetics. And here she is, like she's sharing like, hey, you kind of have to be odd. So take, you know what, take all your odd friends. Yes. <laughs> take, up, take up all your weirdos, all your odd <laughs> friends, take up your tribe, take up your team, let them know, like just get them in, get them in the game. I mean, this is, this is your chance every day with us in Growth Day. Our, our hope is we bring a little bit of empathy and encouragement and direction to your growth journey, to you being mm. a better person, showing up better, making it happen. And you know what? People like us in personal development, we feel odd. Mm. The, the fact that you would watch a show like this to, to inspire yourself to have a good day, that's, you're weird. You're, you're like us. Already. <laughs> you're our growth crew right here. This is our growth crew with us today, Jamie. That's what I'm going to start it. calling the growth day members. It's, it's our growth crew. 
We're in this crew together. We're growing together. So, okay. Odd ducks. You have to be odd. Okay. To be Tell us the story. So you guys, I just want to share something. Anybody out there feeling like, oh, do I belong? And do I have what it, will I be embraced by this industry I'm in? You know, we all have this, the same thoughts. And this is going to be a bold statement. Get them, <laughs> get them. What I realized, I could have never sold my company for over a billion dollars had I not been odd. Had I, had I ever listened to all the feedback along the way from yeah. really well-intentioned experts and retailers about how to conform, about how my packaging needs to be, about how to fit in in this beauty space, about what I need to change or or alter or you know or create to fit in to what's going to sell. How did I ever listen to that when it when it didn't feel authentic to to yeah. who I was? Uh, it never would have happened. And here's what I mean by that. And I just want to share this for anyone who needs this today because this is so, so, so powerful because A, if you are doing something authentically to you, by definition, no one else out there can do it the way you do it, right? So by definition, it's novel. It's never been done before. And listen, I right, I went to a beauty space, there's millions of beauty companies, but you know, I stayed authentic and did it a different way, was told I was odd, <laughs> was told, <laughs> your idea is not going to work. And you guys, I started in my living room and it was three years of, you know, having this product that I believed in so strongly that worked for me. Um, but I didn't want to have crazy, fancy, expensive packaging because I always felt like as a consumer for me, if I bought something that was so fancy, like it was really pretty, I would put it on my counter and I would look at it, but I wouldn't use it. I want to keep it in Exactly. I want people yeah. to not be afraid and to use it. Um, <laughs> and so I was told over and over by a lot of retailers, your your packaging is not expensive or fancy enough. Um, and then when I wanted to use real uh, women and people as models, I was told women won't buy makeup unless the, unless cool. there's such this aspirational thing of beauty that they can never look like. That's what will sell. And I'm like, that doesn't like maybe, just maybe women are sick and tired of seeing people who don't look like them modeling a product because how are they gonna know it works for them if they don't see somebody that has, anyways. So I would keep going in and I kept getting so told, true. So true. right? You're not the right fit. Well, you're you, bringing your values into your work, which is so yeah. key. You're bringing your values into work. You're like, I wanna have, you know, models for a cosmetic who look like regular humans, you know, not like the, the traditional, you know, wave model we wanted to have people who you know were um just joyous and happy and not like mm -hmm. you know you really wanted sure. like you had people with i was i remember looking back at some of your stuff that you did and it was like oh these people have regular human facial expressions you ever open those magazines and you look at everyone's facial expressions you're like that's not even a just you know anyway so and you it's did a really photoshop but i used to say to them like you know I, I like I, I'm creating a company that authentically believes every person is beautiful. So why wouldn't I show every person as the models, right? And it was this just constant pushback. And by the way, sometimes it's little things. I remember, you know, I love some good sweats. Like I'm wearing sweats today. I love some good sweats. And I'll be fancy every once in a while. But in the start, for for those uh, of you that do, that haven't heard the story, we sold. Uh, I sold my, the company I started in my living room to L'Oreal for over a billion dollars, and it was three years of meetings with them. And the first time I ever walked into their office, I felt so odd, so out of place. Like everyone dresses so well, <laughs> and <laughs> and you know, and I was just like, okay, um, you know. And but here's the thing: I didn't change who I was. And, and I didn't start dressing like everyone at that company. And I didn't, start, right? And what happened, my whole point in all this, you guys, is you know, by the time L'Oreal bought our company for $1.2 billion, which is after years of meetings, they have the most beautiful portfolio of like 40 companies, 40 different beauty brands. And none of them were doing what we're doing. Like they're all doing yeah. their own thing really beautifully because I stuck to being odd and I didn't conform every time yeah. I thought, oh, well, if I do this, then that retailer will carry our products or if I change our packaging, then we'll be accepted. Like had I changed everything, they would have never bought our company because we would have been doing what everyone else is doing. And instead, because we were odd, we brought value 
to their portfolio. We didn't yeah. compete with anyone else in their portfolio. We were odd. We brought a whole new value and a whole new customer base. Um, and let me, let me give know, another word for this too, Jamie, because this is like I really want to because I want to I want to transfer this from you know odd or even authentic, which can yeah. be you know kind of like sometimes I know some watching might think, oh, that's like pop self help. You know, here they are just being positive about this. Let me let me share like with some hard truth what that means. Being odd means you bring what is important to you into your day every day. You bring what is important to you into your work. Because what is important to you, that's your values, that's your inclination, that's your vision, that's your unique spirit or voice or inner speaking to, I want to do this and I want to do it in, in this unique way that's my way. And when you honor that and you show up and you do that over and over and over all, your quote unquote brand, whether that or who you are or how you live as a mom, as a team, as a leader, what, what happens and what manifests is this unique identity that's truly you because you are living the things that are important to you and you're bringing what's important to you into every day. And so for those of you who aren't on this track to build a billion dollar company, or you're like, oh, I'm not like Brandon, I don't do that stuff, you know, on the internets. Here's what I'm saying. Bring what is important to you into the world every day. And that oddness, that uniqueness, that will manifest itself into what you feel is living a life of personal freedom, doing what yeah. is important to you and beautiful to you. And that's where you find fulfillment. Because I would say, fake does not equal fulfillment. Mm -hmm. You, you can't fake it into fulfillment. You, you you can fake it and get things done. You can fake it and stand out for a minute. Mm -hmm. But over the long term, you'll be miserable because you didn't bring what's important and true to you into your life. Yeah. And so what Jamie had her ultimate success, just knowing her now as, as a friend and doing this Growth Day morning show together. And we have, we have so much conversation together pretty much on the daily now. It's yeah. like she brought what is important to her into her space. She had rosacea. She said, I'm going to solve this rosacea thing. I, I need that. It's important to me. She solved her rosacea challenge by concocting cosmetics that are in her house. And that became literally a billion dollar empire, y'all. So you just have to go, what's important to me? Let's work on that. Let's solve problems that are important to me. Let's, let's express myself in ways that are true to me. And if you do that year over year over year over year, that's how you build something real. Yeah, and and I love that you use the word unique because that's such a great word too, right? Versus odd. I'm like, you, we were odd, but unique. The things you. I'm from Montana. I say know? weird. I'm weird, right? <laughs> You're weird. But, but the <laughs> and my big thing is, yes, live those. Like you said, yes, bring them into what you're doing, but also don't be scared of them when someone else doesn't get it. Like, the, yes. don't change. Don't change your uniqueness or your weirdness or your oddities when they're true to you and to your values, just because someone else doesn't get it. You know what I mean? And, and yes. I think that's the most important thing, even though like, I'll, I'll probably talk about this for another hundred years, but rejection sucks and rejection is painful. And it never got, you know, it maybe got a little easier because I've gone through hearing no probably thousands of times in the journey, but you know, it's, it's never fun. But had I ever listened to that, that, you're not enough feedback when it was something that was an authentic, unique oddity of a value I believed in. Had I ever changed that, we would have never, ever had the outcome that we did. And it was just such a real life, full circle, good learning that, oh, wow, it was our oddities, our uniqueness, our all of that about our company that we stayed true to that ended up be, you know, really building something of value. And I, I was, I love reading everyone's comments. Oh yes. Rejection yes, is redirection. direction. I love it. Um, y'all are lighting yeah. us up on the comments today in Facebook and Instagram. So thank you very much. And, and yeah. do make sure you tag somebody who needed this inspiration today. Yeah. Uh, for those who are new, we're, we do this every day. We're just trying to bring some encouragement and direction into life. We're trying to build this growth day community of people who go, I care about, my personal happiness. I care about progress. I care about self mastery, getting my mindset right, my habits right, leading others well, building real things, living a fulfilling life. If these things are something you're pumped about, go to growthday.com and officially become a member for the whole year at growthday.com because you get me and Jamie 
but a dozen other personal development teachers mm -hmm. teaching you live every single week of 2021. So you've always wanted better mentors and better community. Growthday.com. Jamie, today was so awesome. What, what's your last oh, parting thoughts for someone starting a big dream right now? Start. <laughs> start and bring your full okay. self, your full <laughs> self into it and don't hold back like who you are and your uniqueness. It's, it's your power. I know we're all so scared of it often, even if we feel like we don't fit in or we don't belong, like it's your power. And you do belong, especially here at the Great Day Morning Show community. I'll say, I'll add to that, no matter what you start, start something that matters. I always say it, no matter what yeah, you start, so. start something that matters. Move more in the direction of authentic alignment. Move more in the mm. direction of, that's important to me. I like that. I'm passionate about that. I'm obsessed about that. Spend more of your day and your time towards your interests and your passions. Make sure that you feel like, ah, I, I, I'm moving towards something. We always say in growth day, you want three things. You want a sense of aliveness in life. You want connection, connection with others, connection with self, connection with spirit. And you want meaningful pursuits, doing things that you find are meaningful. Even if other people don't understand it, approve it, recognize it, cheer it on. It's about moving daily forward to your best self every day. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember and you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.